Hi everyone, this is Dana and in this video I'm going to introduce you to H5P. H5P is short for HTML5 package and it's a free open source framework that was created by a company from Norway. Um, it's based on JavaScript and it allows anyone to make interactive HTML5 content and also to share it and reuse it. There are two ways to use it. One is by installing a plugin for your website, currently supported for Drupal, WordPress, and Moodle. So if you have a website that's on one of these platforms, you can just install the plugin and then create the content right there on your website. However, if you don't have one of these or you don't want to use this, the plugins, the other way is to just create the content right here on h5p.org and then you can embed it in your website. And this is what I did for my examples today. There are many kinds of interactive content that you can make and you can see them here along with examples. You see the most popular ones here, which are course presentation, interactive video and memory game. And then we also have uh, quizzes, flashcards, fill in the blanks, timeline, etc. And when you click on this, there are examples for each of these. So some of these are simple. Um, for instance, let's look at um, drag and drop images. Okay, so here we have an image and you have a question you can just track the answer. So let's say it's this one and check. Nope, I'm going to retry. I'll go with this one. And yep, very good. Okay, we can drag the pieces like this. Let's see another example. So this is a simple one. And then you have more complex ones where you can mix uh, various of these elements, such as the course presentation. Okay, so you can have a presentation and move through the slides and there are various interactive elements that pop up. Um, so go with this. Nope. Oh, okay. Um, fill in the blanks. More content. Video. I'm just going to show you how to create content here on h5b.org. So first you need to make an account. Uh, I've already made one. And then just click create new content. And then select the type that you want. Let's say we'll do a drag and drop. And you can check out the demo right here again. Just use it. And then fill in the various elements of the task. This is an image with hotspots and you may recognize the picture. It's from this article by Romerel, Kidder and Wood. And these are hotspots where you can click and more information pops up. And this is just text information, but you can also add more images or in this case, it's a video. You can watch it right here or you can go to YouTube. And let me show you how that image with hotspots is done. So as I showed you before, you select the type of content and now here you upload the image that you want to use. You can edit the image and then you choose a color for your hotspot. You choose the positions. You can have a header optional and then the text that you put on there. So as I said before, it can be a text, video or image. So you add all of them and then you save it. The other content I made is an interactive video. This is one of the most popular uses of this website. 
And this is uh, Michael Patton talking about research purposes. And I added a few interactive elements here. This is the first one, and it's one that I find really neat because it's called the crossroad. And you can choose where you want to go in the video. So if I click everything, it's just going to play all of it. If I click take me to the examples, then it's just going to skip one part and go directly to the examples. Right here, I have a simple single choice question. Actually, it's a set of questions. Um, so let's see this one. Nope. Okay, correct. And so on. So Okay, now I got three of them wrong. And I added here my feedback. I think you should review the video up to now. So when I click continue, it takes me back to the beginning because I think the student, if they didn't get uh, a certain score on the on that quiz, then they should go back and rewatch the material. Uh, so that's another really cool thing about H5B. This is a task where you drag the words to finish the sentence. So basically, I'm asking students to match an example with a type of research purpose. And yeah, now if I check, it's not complete. I can retry. Okay. And let's move on to the next one. Understanding the phenomenon and acting on the world as a scholar practitioner would put all of these parts together. And here I have a multiple choice when you can click um, several answers. And again, I set it up so that it reviews that segment if the student didn't get a certain number of points. And then the last one, I just put a note. But this can be something else. This can be an image or it can be a link. And let me show you how to make the video. So in a similar way, you upload, you either, you can either upload a video or you can just write the link to it. So in this case, I just put a link to a YouTube video. And there are a few more things here that you can change. You can change where you start, autoplay loop, um, a few things. Now, the important things, right? Interactions. So in here you have all the types, all the types of interactions that you can add. So we have label, text, table, link, image, statements, multiple choice questions, true, false, fill in the blanks or drag and drop, mark the words, drag text, crossroads, hotspots, or questionnaire. And when you start, you just add them, but I'm just going to go to edit and it's the same thing. So you can click on it. And this is basically what you get when you create it as well. So you can choose the time to display it. You can choose whether to pause the video or not and then the content of what you want to have there. This is my crossroads. Okay. And in a similar way, let's see this one. Here you can also choose whether it appears uh, immediately as a poster, the way that I have it, or it can be just a button and then the, the students need to click. And then just a multiple choice question, you put your questions, and you put your answers. And then the nice thing is you can also define your feedback. And, um, and then you have the behavioral settings. I didn't really change any of this, but the thing that I really like is the adaptivity, which is what happens if they answered correctly or if they answered wrong. So action on all correct, I didn't put anything, so they just continue. 
And then what I have here is action on wrong, which is uh, go back to the beginning. And in the same way, you make uh, the other questions. So as you can see, it's very, very user friendly. Once you've created the content, uh, you can go here to embed and just copy this code and put it on your website. And that's it. Very easy. Finally, a word about analytics. With embedded content, you don't have any analytics. So that would be the only uh, negative point about H5P, in my opinion. Um, if you do use the plugins on WordPress or Drupal or Moodle, you can get some basic results. You can get um, start and stop times. You can get scores. But to get more than that, it's actually a little bit complicated and probably uh, beyond what um, most people can do. In the future, there is another service coming up, which is h5p.com. And this one will have more features and it will be even easier. Uh, however, I expect this to be paid since um, they are offering a discount here. Okay. Um, so I think that H5P is a great tool for content creation. And I hope that you give it a try.